Good morning. Welcome to the CBS AM debrief. Uh, it's Tuesday, the 19th of October. I'm David Kern. Uh, just coming up on uh, 9 o'clock here. And overnight, a market action. We saw the banking sector in the United States uh, interestingly um, move up quite strongly with uh, better than expected results from Citibank, which um, given that sector has as a whole been underperforming the rest of the market. Uh, there's probably a little bit of uh, uh, built up pressure uh, there to um, kind of catch up with, uh, with the, the rest of the, the moves in the market. Um, certainly they've been struggling with this issue of how to deal with the mortgage foreclosure problem there, uh, the hangover from the, uh, the whole GFC. Um, but uh, yeah, certainly that helped push the uh, the Dow rather up to a high not seen seen since um, May. Let's take a look at that. Um, eleven hundred and twenty. So sorry, we're looking at the futures there. So eleven hundred and eleven thousand one hundred and fifty three, which is up eighty. Uh, the S and P five hundred is up uh, eight point. 5.2 or 0.72%, so similar amount of percentage terms. And the NASDAQ was at 2,480, uh, which was up 0.48. Uh, in Europe, the session there was broadly up. Uh, the FTSE up 39 points, the CAC up 7.13, and the DAX up 24.33. Have a look what the futures are suggesting. Our region will, uh, will open up with uh, the S&P, uh, sorry, the SPY 200, uh, pointing up 40, 41 points to 4,696. The Hang Seng down 250 and the Nikkei up 40. West Texas, now to the uh, commodity space, uh, trading up strongly, $1.76 to 83.01. A uh, copy of 185.60. Corn at five five seven and a quarter, cotton at one hundred and thirteen point three seven, uh, oats three hundred and sixty two, rough rice thirteen dollars seventy and a half, uh, soy at eleven ninety five, uh, sugar at twenty seven fifty eight, uh, wheat at six ninety, which was actually down uh, a little bit over two percent, and wool fairly steady at nine dollars seventy per kilo, up nineteen cents. Copper 385 at three quarters was up 1.85, and gold at 1370 and 40 cents was down a dollar and a half. Silver 2438 and a half. Currency pairs: the euro was buying 1.3938 US dollars, the pound 1.5883 US dollars, buying 81.2790 yen. The Aussie was buying 0.98. 91 US dollars and US dollars mine 1.0174 Canadian and 0.9596 Swiss francs. Have a look at the economic calendar. Uh, no real data of, of great uh, note out for today. Um, a little bit of Eurozone. Uh, survey data and construction output data a little bit later on tonight. And then housing starts out of the US around 11.30. And then going into tomorrow morning or midnight, we've got uh, Canadian rates decision. They're expected to stay at 1%. We'll take a look now at a couple of the markets in the Falcon Trader. And I know I've mentioned that we were in the process of issuing, <coughs> excuse me, a warrant to short cotton. Our warrant manager, Benson, elected to actually step aside from that trade, so he didn't enter it. And you can see um, a little bit of a feel for what's uh, what's been going on up here. He wasn't, uh, in it, didn't want to place the order until we were right up in those highs there. Didn't get up there. Um, having said that, he has identified an alternative trade, so we will be coming back to everyone to, to see their, seek their uh, approval to, um, to enter that trade. And that is for 
for natural gas. So we've got seasonal demand going into the northern hemisphere winter and certainly we could I think you could be fairly comfortable that we're closer to the bottom end of the range than now to the top in that trade. But, um, we'll be putting a report out which will explain the reasons fundamentally for uh, considering this trade. I won't uh, try to go into all of them right now. Just taking a quick look here at the Aussie dollar. Don't you think that one's a better one? And we'll compare that with the US dollar index, which is where we're starting to see the potential makings of a morning star and perhaps a bit of a reversal here. So now when we looked at the Fibonacci numbers, we were looking for a possibility down here of 75. Um, not quite sure if that's going to make it the way things are looking here right now. Now to our local market, looks like we might get up and test the 4700 level here once again today. Uh, if futures are anything to go by and uh, really we continue to remain in this trading range and until we take out that 4700 level we, uh, we can't expect to see anything too meaningful uh, as far as direction is concerned. Okay, so I think that, uh, that wraps up the uh, AMD brief for today. Thanks uh, for your attention and we'll talk again soon. Bye for now.